Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode, I am going to be picking up where I last left off in the last episode with Intro to CMake by showing how to enable your CMake-based project for Travis CI and to get automated builds from your project. This episode, I think, will probably be pretty short but let's go ahead and give it a rundown and see what we find. So if you recall in our last episode, we had this very simple CMake list file here that enables some warnings and can build our simple C++ project, setting the appropriate flags for requiring C++ 14 support because we have Lambda init captures. We want to add Travis CI support which is a free continuous integration environment for many different languages, but more to the point, it is one of the few that supports C++. And Travis has a bunch of different configurations. It can be used with Mac OS or Linux, and it has multiple different distributions for Linux that it can support. But we are going to specifically use the fastest Linux configuration, which is a version of trusty Ubuntu that runs in a Docker image. So we'll set about getting that set up. And by fastest, I mean it takes the least amount of time to spin up, and you are going to get the fastest results back from Travis when you've made a new commit to your project. Travis is configured with a travis.yaml file in your project root directory. And it's really quite simple, actually. So if you're not used to YAML, it's uh, yet another markup language. It's a very simple kind of markup with key value pairs and lists and arrays, but it's, it's really um, pretty straightforward to use as a human. So we are saying we want to use trusty, and we do not need sudo support, which means it can run in a Docker image instead of having to spin up a full VM. And we want the language to be C++. And then we have to specify a script for how we want it to build. And our script is very simple, and it's going to take advantage of some CMake features that I did not discuss in the last episode. So specifically, we're just going to call CMake dot. And we're saying configuring CMake in the current build folder. And then our second item that we need to execute is CMake dash dash build and I'm going to pass it J2. We have two virtual CPUs available to us. So we have said, CMake, I want you to compile this project, and you know best. You know if it was configured using GNU make files. You know if it was configured using Visual Studio. You know if it was configured using Ninja. Just build it. And CMake says, OK, boss, I can do that. And we say dot. We want to build the current folder. This dash dash says, pass the next set of command parameters to the actual build tool. And we're saying dash J2, so that it'll do a parallel build. Now, we only have one file in this project, so that may be a bit gratuitous. But, well, it'll help at some point in the future with this example. So that should be pretty much it. Let's go ahead and add this. So Travis has built-in GitHub integration, and I've already synced it to my account. I need to uh, call sync account now to make sure that it has all of the projects that I own, all the repositories that I own currently in here. And these are a bunch of different toy projects and stuff, but we have our C++ starter project. So we just want to enable that, and then go to that particular repository's settings. So to get this build started, we're going to go ahead and push an extra commit to GitHub to get Travis to recognize that we've done something here. So we have gone ahead and made the push, and Travis picked up on that for us automatically, and we can actually see a live run of it being built. So unfortunately, Travis's uh, CMake is a little out of date. It is at version 3.2.2. And we have set our minimum as 3.5. So let's go ahead and update that in CMake and see what we've got. 
have to add our Ubuntu toolchain r test source repository for apt and then tell it that we want to install G5. So we will be building with GCC 5. Point, um, something here. And then we specify the CC and CXX environment variables that we are passing to CMake so it knows which C and C compiler we want it to pick up. Travis has picked up the fact that we just pushed this latest version and we should be able to see it installing GCC. We can scroll down to the bottom here and we can see that it has added our Ubuntu toolchain update. So we can see that Travis has managed to build our project. Anytime a commit is pushed to GitHub or a pull request is made, it'll automatically be built and we will have some level of confidence that our code compiles as we expect it to. And you can do much more advanced things with Travis, but this is the basic getting started with it. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.